A while ago, we asked a few people living with epilepsy or caring for someone with epilepsy to tell us why and how they don't let epilepsy hold them back. This next session is full of hope from empowered people with epilepsy that want you to know that epilepsy doesn't have to hold you back either. Hi everyone, I'm Cassidy Megan and I'm the founder of Purple Day. I'd like to take a minute to talk to you guys about why epilepsy doesn't define me. This, I was diagnosed with epilepsy at age 7 and I've lived with it my whole life. I'm now 22 years old and I'm a casting and sound director with a production company in the film industry. I'm a professional model and I travel the world advocating for epilepsy with Purple Day. The reason I'm telling you guys this is because I want you guys to know that epilepsy doesn't have to define you and you can be anything you want to be. You can follow your dreams and succeed. And even though sometimes it seems like all the doors are shut and locked, know that you're strong enough to kick them all down. Thank you. Hey everybody, my name is Gina and this is my service dog Tira, a big old Great Dane puppy. <laughs> He's lazy. But anyway, I um, developed epilepsy at 14, three days before my first day of high school. And that's, you know, really rough for a teenager just to be a teenager. But, you know, having that was really rough. But as you grow older, you learn that having epilepsy, while it sucks, it teaches you compassion and teaches you to understand people in a way that not everybody else can. But here's something for you to really, really concentrate on. Don't concentrate on the disability. Concentrate on your abilities. Don't concentrate on what you can't do. Concentrate on what you can do. There's a purpose for all of us. And um, that includes you. So you're a warrior. Trust me, you are. You're stronger than you give yourself credit for. So rock on, you guys. And... I'm sending love to all of you, and if you ever need to talk, my name's Gina Ivy. Look me up. Hey guys, hope you guys are doing good. Hope you guys are staying safe. Just wanted to say a few things of, you know, how epilepsy doesn't hold me down, how I keep on pushing forward, and maybe I can give you guys some advice too. Um, just want to say my family was a big, big help, how they pushed me forward, you know, tell me not to give up, you can do this. Um, my friends, my family, they've been there for me, you know, ever since I was diagnosed, which is a big, big thank you I want to give you guys. Um, not only that, but, you know, maybe I can give you guys some advice. Um, never give up, you know, keep on pushing. You will get there someday when you push through and feel strong, you know, because, us warriors, we got to keep on pushing through. It may not happen next week. It may not happen tomorrow, but it will happen. And like my dad says, don't epilepsy, don't let epilepsy control you. You control epilepsy. You are the strong one. You can do this. But yeah, thank you guys. Bye. Hello, guys. My name is Tom Scare. I've been an epilepsy warrior for 38 long years. Three, eight long years. I'm here at the gym. I'm working out. The black barber had to have a black barber had to have a crowded house here within an hour. But anyway, I'm here putting that workout in. I don't let epilepsy keep me down. I don't let it. You know, I don't let it bother me. Work out. That's my that's my pastime. I've been working out most of my life. I you know I work out and the people that inspire me are bodybuilders and weightlifters. You know, I'm mostly you know, I'm friends with them on Instagram and I threw them on Facebook. Um, you know, people people tend to ask me. People tend to ask me, does it bother me when I, you know, when I work out and not tell them? I, I say no. You know, when my you know, when I'm working out, my brain is relaxed, and whenever my brain is relaxed, I'm. I'm at my, you know, I'm at my best. I'm at my best when my mind is relaxed. And 
you know, I feel good when I'm working out and I don't dedicate in the way, you know, it don't hold me back. I feel good. Hi, I'm Tammy with Purple Day Every Day. And we are a family that lives with epilepsy. My daughter was diagnosed at age four with epilepsy, and we were told at that time that she was going to have a lot of limitations in her life, and she wouldn't be able to do everything everybody else does. We were giving a long list of things she couldn't do, and not a list of things she could do. Um, we found the neurologist that was right for our family. He said, do not put limits on that child, because she'll show you those limits. And really, I hope that's what you do with your child as well. Don't put limits on them. Just maybe do everything a little bit differently. Let them see how it works for them and make sure maybe it is working for them. So my daughter wanted to be in Girl Scouts and she was four years old and she wanted to be in Girl Scouts. I thought, well, I can't just leave her at the Girl Scout meeting. So I became the Girl Scout leader. She wanted to be a gymnast. Well, that's kind of scary and maybe something somebody with epilepsy shouldn't do, but she wanted to, so we decided to let her try. And she's a gymnast. She's a competitive gymnast that's been doing it for years. And it really brings a lot of joy to her life. And that's part of her family, her gym family. So there are things that maybe somebody with epilepsy shouldn't do or you think they couldn't do, but don't put those limits on them. They'll put their own limits on them. If it works for them, you're going to find that out. If it doesn't work for them, you'll find it out as well. If she plays a saxophone, that's a lot of blowing air hot on a you know, stage. She does it. She loves it. So it's just something she can do. As a family, we downhill ski. I'm telling you, sometimes it's really scary thinking about get her getting on that ski lift, but we have to let her do the things that she wants to do. It's a hard decision to do, but she can do everything everybody else does. We just do it a little bit differently, like I said. So I hope that you can find things that your child can do or you yourself can do, and don't put limits on yourself until you know what those limits are. Make sure you do everything safely and you know thoroughly investigate what it is you wanna try. But don't say you can't do it unless you try. Hey, so we're going to talk about how to not allow epilepsy to control your life today. And I know that's a deep uh, conversation. Epilepsy is hard enough, and it's hard enough not allowing it to control your life. And it was hard enough for me to let that go. Uh, you have to think positive on life. You have to be motivated and have a good support team. And for me, it took having a little baby girl back in 2019. And then in 2020, I became an advocate for the Purple Day Everyday Foundation. I opened up my own photography business. And I also uh, started a part-time job after being a stay-at-home mom for a year. So let's just say I kept myself very busy and decided on my own not to let epilepsy control my life and I had a great support team behind me and my number one fan was my husband so that is key in life for those who have epilepsy to always have a support team to try to stay positive and to try to stay motivated and motivation is always so difficult but just know that there's people out there to help you stay motivated to help you stay positive and if you ever need help there's always somebody out there to talk to so thanks for listening hello dear friends good evening to all of you i am Ilya, talking from iran i am 14 years old i have epilepsy since my birth but i didn't fight with it instead of fighting i accepted as a friend of mine I could use it and to bring my knowledge and experience high so to understand more about the brain, more about the neurological situations, and even the nervous system. So first I found out who I am, and then I found out more information about epilepsy, what kind of the disease it is, and what kind of cure solutions do we have to treat this disorder. So. The good fact for you guys is to accept the epilepsy as a friend of yours instead of fighting it. And that is the reason how you guys could control your epilepsy. Thank you. Hi, I'm McKinley Summer and I'm with Purple Day Every Day. When I was four, I was diagnosed with epilepsy and a little before that, I had my first seizure, which was a little scary for me and my family because we didn't know what was happening or what to do. 
Now that I'm 14, I've had 10 years of experience with epilepsy, and I figured out that it can't hold you back from doing anything. Sometimes you might just have to do things a little bit differently than other people do, which is completely fine. That's what I do sometimes. I'm a competitive gymnast, and I ski and play volleyball sometimes. I do what everyone else can do, but sometimes I just have to modify it a little bit back. Epilepsy can't hold you back from doing anything, mentally, physically, or any other way. You can do everything else that anyone else can do.